Here I come! The OG is back at it again. Welcome to a new Crash Bandicoot discussion video. The last time we talked about Crash was unfortunately about Crash 4 and people not accepting that it already exists. But now we have something a little more refreshing to discuss briefly, of course, and it's regarding the Crash Bandicoot mobile title. Now, earlier today around 7, 6 a.m., somewhere around there on April 22nd, anyway, as I'm recording this uh, on this day, hours ago, gameplay was dropped. And when I watched it, at first I was like, eh, it looks cool, it looks nice. But uh, re-watching it a little and just, you know, analyzing it a little more, I could see there was actually a good amount, a decent amount of care and attention put into it. It's surprisingly well animated for a mobile title. The characters do look good. And in terms of the designs, I like that Crash has been tweaked up. While I'm still personally not a fan of the beach sorts that he has, it doesn't really bother me. I think everyone still looks relatively familiar as we all know them as. When it comes to Aku Aku though, my only critique with him is that like, maybe I'm tripping, but like his eyes used to be like this instead of like this. Like they used to be oval instead of straight up circle. So it looks a little weird. Um, not too like foreign or anything. It just, <clears throat> I don't know. He just looks a little different, uh, but it's not bad by any means. Coco looks fine. Dangle Doll looks great. Um, in terms of the Scorporilla in the back now, I find that really interesting. Though it's not too surprising to me that, you know, more Titans uh, material is being acknowledged in a future Crash game. I mean, even though it's a mobile game, it's still not something I was really expecting. Uh, it doesn't surprise me too much, you know, since Crash's initial design was reminiscent of Crash and the Titans Crash, mixed with OG, mixed with Insane, mixed with a little bit of Twin Sanity, I guess. Um, it doesn't really surprise me that much but i do think that it's cool and according to some sources uh and one of them being someone that i know personally i'm not going to disclose their name obviously crash bandicoot could be getting a new game revealed soon and from a business standpoint that would make a lot of sense and it would just be smart especially around the time when the insane trilogy and i think ctr is on sale on psn playstation's been emphasizing they've been really pushing the fact that it's on sale all around the same time this mobile games gameplay is getting revealed and well we still probably couldn't get a reveal like in the next month i would say maybe two months and you never know maybe crash bandicoot could be in smash brothers as another like you know just another business move to make him even more relevant than he already is so you know that's pretty cool um, that's really all I have to say. Uh, I just want to say, I, th I find it really cool that I have two things I can talk about on this channel. Uh, Crash Bandicoot and Bloody Roar being those top two. So I'm glad to still be doing Crash content, even if I'm not as interested in the Crash series personally. Because, you know, I just want a new game on consoles to invest my money and energy and time to. So, yeah, I just find it really cool. And I just want to say thank you for continuously supporting me throughout the years. It's about to be 10 years next year though i didn't start talking about crash till like 2012 and onwards so yeah um i'll see you guys later you guys have yourselves a good one thank you for watching and i'll see y'all soon peace